Welcome home, honey. I'm glad you're here. I missed you. I was just finishing the dinner, so all you have to do is wash your hands. And soon I'll have some nice food ready for you. How are you doing anyway? How is work? Tell me everything as usual. Just fine. I thought you were gonna tell me more. Sometimes you tend to talk about your job adventures for hours. Which I don't mind, because they're often pretty funny. But now you say it was just... fine. Come on, tell me more. Also, you forgot something. You forgot to kiss me hello. You don't want me to look at you. Why? Dirty from what? You work at the office, not in mine. Let me see. Mm, you're not dirty at all, but... Your cheeks are so red. I don't think I've ever seen you blush like that before. Well, if it's cold outside, then you should have put on some thicker clothes. I don't want you to get sick all of a sudden. Because then, who am I gonna snuggle with in bed? Either way, I'm gonna have some hot food for you in a minute, so don't you worry. Just sit down for now, get some rest, and I'll let you know when it's ready. I gotta go back to the kitchen to make sure it doesn't get burnt. My lovely baby. Always working so hard. I'm really proud of them. That blush, though. And the nervous giggle. That didn't seem right. When we were ice skating and they fell on their face, their cheeks were nowhere near as red as they are right now. And when they got home, not only they didn't kiss me, but they were also walking pretty quickly, trying to get to the living room, as if they tried to... avoid me? Did I do something wrong? But then if I did, they would look more angry or frustrated. Maybe something actually happened at work, and that's why they don't want to tell me anything. I saw that new secretary at the entrance. Maybe she started to hit up on them, and now they feel embarrassed. Or worse, aroused. Whatever the case may be, that hoe better stay away from my partner, and try to get some promotions with the boss instead. Alright, easy girl. You don't suspect your beloved one to cheat on you, do you? Anyway, I should check up on them. They like to nap after work, and I bet they don't want to eat cold food. So I better wake them up now. Okay, the dinner is almost, uh, done. What are you watching? No, don't hide your phone right now. I clearly saw you watch some naughty videos. Your co-workers sent them to you. Then I assume that's why you came back home all blushy and heavily breathing, huh? In this watermark? Just viewers? I didn't know you used that website. Why were you watching these? Me? On these naughty videos? How can you assume that? You can't even see the faces on them. Um, maybe it's that secretary from your office. Perhaps she doesn't earn enough and she just tries to get more money? You recognize my voice in my body. Uh, may maybe it's someone else's body, maybe it's just similar, and, uh, and you can do pretty much anything with AI these days. Um, maybe they stole my voice. Yeah, they stole my voice and put it on a different person and... Uh... Oh god. You weren't meant to find out. No one was supposed to know. Yes, I am on these videos. This Just Viewers account belongs to me. I started running it way before I met you. And I did that. Simply because I couldn't find any job at the place I lived at. Whenever I'm leaving the house to go to work, I am indeed doing that. But I'm not working at the grocery store like I told you. 
Instead, I am going to my friend's house and... Uh, I'm recording all this footage and taking all these loot pictures. To be honest, I still don't really like doing that. I'm mostly doing all this only for the money. I didn't want to tell you the truth because I don't know how you would react to that. I was scared you were gonna leave me. And I couldn't just delete this account either. Why would I? If I finally had some reliable source of income. And I didn't want you to pretty much support me financially all the time. I know you're gonna be mad at me right now. You're gonna think of me as some kind of a hoe. You're gonna be angry at the fact that I showed my naked body to possibly thousands of random people. But I really had no choice. You don't... mind? Do you really not mind me earning money that way? Because I'm pretty sure what I did, many people would consider... Disgusting. I'm... hot? Oh, please. I just admitted to something very embarrassing, and you treat it like it's not a big deal. On some of these videos, I was... you know... doing that with other people. And I felt horrible that I had to hide that from you. Because no matter who I'm, uh, working with, you, and only you, are the one I'm in love with. I'm so sorry for not telling you the truth, and I fully regret this mistake. If you want me to shut this account down, I will. Though, looking at your face, it seems like you would rather like to see more of my content. Yes, I promise. I will let you know whenever I would plan for anyone else to join the party for the day. And to be honest, you could be the star every now and then too. Though that still brings a bit of a risk of your workmates seeing you in action. Either way, from now on I'm gonna tell you everything. In fact, I think I'm gonna start looking for a proper job. After all, I started the account when I lived in a crap hole. Now that I live with you in a bigger city, I have way more possibilities. Maybe I'll even get paid better, since making this just viewers content can be a bit tiring. But yes, no more lies or secrets. I hope you don't hide anything from me either. You better not. Also, Remember that I still spend most of my time right here. That information might be useful for you. Now knowing what stuff I can do. <laughs> oh, right. We got a dinner before it gets cold. But before that, one more thing. The one you forgot when you came back home. Yes, that thing. Come here. I love you so much. To me, your love is more important than any money, any followers, and any pleasure of this world. Now let's go. I made your favorite dish. <laughs>